Hey everyone, I'm Tefel and recently I created a plugin for Unreal Engine 4 which is editor plugin and is called Asset Assistant. This simple extension is helping me a lot with assets uh, when I want to keep them open uh, after restarting the engine or when I'm working on some features and I need a list of the assets. So when I work on the weather, I want to keep some blueprints open. But when I work on the main menu, I want to keep some widgets. So you can get uh, the files uh, in many different ways. Uh, first of all, you can get them from content browser selection. You can also get them from open windows. Uh, use some search with specific filters, but you can also paste them from the clipboard as theory or standard list. So in the end, you can modify at once a lot of files. You can rename them. You can create a lot of child blueprints. You can duplicate many times. Uh, but you can also uh, open a lot of files, you can save a lot of files, you can mark them dirty and much more. Hopefully soon you will be able to find the plugin in the marketplace, but for now it's available on Selfie. You can find link in the uh, description of the movie. And right now I will go to the details about the plugin if you are more interested. Okay, so I just opened the project and uh, as you can see by default our Asset Assistant uh, plugin is on the second position but you can change the hotkey for uh, any you want. And uh, there is some list. Uh, this is result list and it's recovered from previous sessions. So I had like opened four uh, words. Maybe not opened but uh, on this list, this result list. And right now I would like to test uh, my recover uh, autosave. So when I open four of these assets and I just hard reset this uh, engine, it should be like recovered and the same state uh, of the windows uh, opened. So I should get the same windows right now. Uh, yeah, it's taking a little bit time. So uh, when we are working with code, sometimes it's necessary to restart the engine and not to losing your progress. I think it's good. And when you uh, just go to the plugin, you should get these uh, four assets opened. And as you can see, it's opened like, like it was just a moment ago. So we can get all these assets uh, from this uh, opened windows, just clicking edit it, and it's just getting them here. And then you can just find them right here one by one or you can just go to modify and search and it will find them uh, whatever you are which is really uh, useful but uh, just start from beginning so first feature is finding which provides uh, a little bit statistics of your uh, assets so in this project i have only four levels you have four levels you have uh, 14 sound waves, you have uh, 10 sound cues, you have 70 materials, for example. To get all words, you can just get here and find elements, which will just uh, get elements from the content. But you can change the directory, you can also set specific text, which will be found. And uh, you can find from uh, all files, all just selected content browser. So for now, I have this uh, result. And I can find all these elements uh, pressing in the modify tab, just search. And it's uh, actually selecting these all uh, in the content browser, which uh, you can see these are in two uh, locations, in maps in the starter content and maps in the third person CPP. Okay, so uh, what I can do further, I can rename this uh, according to the pattern right here. I can save them, open, remove dirty and duplicate. It's from modification, but we will just get back to this. Let's go back to the find. Let's get uh, all the, uh, our textures to D. I'll just find them uh, in the content. Uh, as you can see, I had selected uh, geometry, so there was no textures. So I'm just going back to the content. I have 111 textures selected. Now I will go to modify and find all of these. So you can see they are all uh, selected. I can also uh, not selecting anything, just open them straight from, from the list, which is also helpful. So I can just uh, maybe close some of these, just pressing Ctrl 4, F4. 
and now I can get uh, the same list from the edited windows. And as you can see, instead of 111, I have now 92 rows. Uh, so what I can do next, I can just get them as normal list and get these to the Excel or something. So this is my list of the textures. As you can see, this is a really interesting list. But I can get some elements from here. So I can just remove maybe last some uh, elements right here and then copy back and paste this back. So now I have only 59 elements right here. Uh, but I can modify this straight here. I don't have to copy this uh, wherever I want. And I can also open the widget. Mm, so let's uh, open the widget. Let's create variable which will be just texture uh, 2D. Uh, yeah. And let's make this uh, array. Selecting this in for in. And compile. And let's make this textures. So right now when I compile, I should be able to paste this right here. If I uh, export this as the array. So it's copy all rows as the array. So I copy 59 assets and when I paste this right here, I should get this 59 elements. It's simple like that. We have this right here, imported. It's straightforward. Conversion is uh, automatic. And I can remove like uh, middle elements uh, doing the same. So let's clear the list of the result. And let's copy this from here. You just uh, have to press right key and copy and then just paste here. And you have pasted 59 assets from the array, which is straightforward. So let's make this list bigger for easier uh, modification. And I will just remove all maybe cobblestones because I don't need them. So I will just uh, remove all selected rows and I will from the rest select maybe from 10 element to the, to the rest. And I will just remove unselected. It's next button, remove all unselected rows. So right now I have this uh, what I wanted. I can uh, copy this as the array once again, go back to the uh, and paste this as my no, uh, new list. It's now 41 elements. And we have also selected elements. Uh, this is kind of preview right here, 11 elements selected. So uh, modification is easy. Uh, this is example of the textures, but you can use uh, any type of you want to. Uh, it can be like blueprints, it can be a class, just class. Uh, yeah, here can be listed anything you want. It can be list of the uh, maps, for example. Uh, yeah, so this is just up to you. Now we will go to the modi modification. So I will get uh, these two elements from the content browser. It's BBB widget blueprint and widget uh, blueprint one. And I will go to modify and using one of my pattern to modify these two elements. So I want to add number uh, to these elements. So I'm finding name plus number and every of these elements will get just underscore plus number in the end. So I will just rename this and I get uh, the same underscore zero and the same underscore one. But I can also start number from one, which is this renamed uh, underscore number plus one. So now these two elements should get, but I have to remember to get this from content. So these two elements will be renamed by uh, renamed underscore number plus one, which will be one and two. So first one will be uh, renamed one, second one renamed two. Let's try. And we have this one and two, which is working quite nice. But instead of uh, using these kind of uh, patterns and uh, numbers, we can just use a custom array and to just use custom array i can select the pattern right here it's custom array one so i need two elements of here and maybe aaa bbb that's everything so first element should be aaa second element should be bbb i can just get this uh, from the content browser once again and rename this aaa bbb but it's uh, working for any amount of assets yeah also duplicating is working like that so let's try to duplicate this uh, second element uh, for that reason we uh, purpose we just want one of these 
so i will just get the bbb and create like right here number of copies to duplicate let's create 50 copies of this with numbers so i will keep the bbb and then create from zero but maybe i want the same name underscore number plus one which will start index from one but you can you can also subtract uh, yeah because it's working with minus it's working with plus okay so i'm going to add new pattern and use this pattern for duplicating this 50 times so let's try to duplicate this element 50 times uh, creating multiple assets and as you can see i created 50 of these uh, elements which is kind of uh, good for me so now i can just press save for one element but i can select all of these and uh, do the same with uh, this <laughs> fashion let's get the content and do some save which is always asking if i want to save all these uh, assets from the result and uh, you can just set save selected and it's working quite well it's saving all the assets so we have now 50 more assets created so it's like creating child blueprints but we can also mark them dirty so i'm getting this eight elements and mark them dirty so now they are dirty like it was before we can open this uh, from the list we can rename them save them dirty and in the future there will there will be more elements right here for modification but for now i think it's it's quite nice and the last thing i would like to show you it's macro uh, where you can just uh, save this list to the set you want so i will just create new set which will be bbb uh, eight this is my uh, yeah from zero to eight bbb i think name is uh, okay and save my asset so right now on the second position i have my uh, asset saved i can also set this to my auto save so every time this uh, list of the asset will be opened uh, but for now i will just uh, get this list and here uh, in recovery option i will just set my asset and load so i will clear this list and load this to the so as you can see this is uh, uh, found from from the, the set so i can just keep my uh, sets and i can create as many sets as i want to the same functionality is here but it's saving with the date so i will uh, save this once again but it's creating this date and the number of the assets is here uh, number eight here we have eight here we, here is four so let's find what's there it's like this four okay let's find uh, once again this bbb number eight and we have these assets so yeah and uh, that's basically it for this uh, you can change the plugin right here and in the future there will be more elements right here okay so i jumped for a moment to different project which is pure blueprint project just to show you statistics of this finding uh, files and as you can see there is 6125 files uh, uh, 194 blueprints which is quite a lot there is uh, 789 materials there is like 318 uh, material instance uh, object redirectors so maybe i should clean object re uh, redirectors because there is quite a lot and there are some tools for that uh, what else i have level 32 levels in the project uh, quite a lot of textures we have almost 2000 textures <laughs> and uh, 215 sound cues so yeah this is looking quite nice and uh, give, gives you the preview of, of your project uh, in the future i will just expand this and make this much more interesting maybe okay so this is basically it for now and uh, if you are interested in this plugin please check uh, uh, link in the description and of course like always uh, see you next time